We're gonna talk about the forgotten women of Wentworth. They were everywhere. Every single season had some sideline characters, okay? Every single season. Some sideline characters were more entertaining to watch than others, but for the most part, every season had sideline inmates that didn't really have main storylines. We didn't know jack shit about them. They gave us no background information as to who these people were, why they were in prison. We're gonna talk a little bit about them. And I'm gonna tell you who was my favorite of these sideline inmates and which sideline inmates I could have done without, which ones I wanted to know more about their backstory. And in the comments down below, I'm gonna need for you to tell me all your thoughts as well. The sideline girls were always like, the villains you know like the secondary villains of the show like the opposing crew for whoever was top dog that's who the sideline characters were so the first little group of bitches we met was juice and the boys which consisted of juicy lucy her best friend was stella and then there was a couple of other little gang members that were with them their names i never knew i never heard them i never cared so it was just juice and stella and I have to say, I didn't like Juice. I didn't like her. She was a fucking bitch. There was so much about her that I couldn't stand. She was vile. She was disgusting. And she had a fucking fresh ass mouth. And I didn't like it. I didn't like all, the, all of this. I didn't like it. However, she had her funny moments. Stella, on the other hand, I liked. I feel like a friendship between Boomer and Stella would have been something that I would have loved to have seen. Because dumb two interacting in the gardening project sonia's workshop when boomer was doing the welding and they were having the little back and forths and shit i feel like those interactions between them were funny you know and entertaining and i would have loved to have seen either this constant bickering back and forth and then they join forces at one point and become cool with each other and then we would have had like tons of funny scenes between stella and boomer can you imagine the two of them running around the prison making the grog so they would have been doing that and it just would have been fun like the mischief that they would have gotten into it would have been like seeing two big babies running around in prison acting a damn fool and i would have been here for all of it stella just faded into the distance we don't know what happened to her i'm assuming she was released and they didn't tell us about it stella was like a lost little girl and i think she was just following juice because for whatever the reasons, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why the fuck she would choose to follow Juice, but she did. But under the right guidance with the right friend group, I think she would have not been such a bitch. So then Juice gets her tongue cut out because she want to be a fucking nasty ass bitch. And after that, when there was nothing more for her to say, she also faded into the distance. Either was transferred to another prison, you know what I'm saying? Or the bitch was released, which I wouldn't doubt because the justice system fucking sucks. Who came after her? I'm going to say that it was Tina Mercado and her girls. So with Tina Mercado, we didn't know she was the leader of the group until afterwards when whoever it was discovered she was the leader of the group. It was probably Frankie. Oh, uh, yeah, it was Frankie during that whole shit with the money and all of that shit in the kitchen. When it all came to a boy in the kitchen, she was like, tell her because we all know you're the real fucking boss here, bitch. What was her name? Cindy Lou? Cindy Lou and tina mercado and the other bitches that were part of their crew i did not like the girls in the crew i thought these girls were you know whatever but but they were down for their shit you know what i'm saying they were gonna stand there they were gonna fight you they weren't gonna back down they weren't gonna be scared they were gonna be atrevidas they were gonna go against the top dog they were gonna sell their drugs and you were gonna have to fuck them up if you wanted to stop them as annoying as that is when you're trying to like keep order in a prison i could you know respect the girls and saying this is what we're gonna do stop us if you think you can <laughs> And that's what it came down to with Tina and her girls. I liked Tina Mercado's character. I wanted to know more about Tina. I wanted to know what was your family like? You know, I feel like Tina Mercado probably was raised in the gang life, okay? This is the vibe that she gives me. I think she came from a gang member family. Like, her parents probably ran shit in their, you know, heyday. And now she's the youth and she's coming up and doing all of these things. And But, you know, things are different now. So she got herself locked up. Now she's in jail. When she gets released, she's going to still do the same shit. Sell drugs, set bitches up, 
fight. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's going to change. And Tina's going to end up back in jail. So if they ever do a remake of Wentworth, Tina McArdle's character, trust me when I tell you this, she should be revisited. They should put her back on the show. They should give her some fucking background story. And they should give her a main storyline and have her be a part of things. Because I think she could be interesting if they give her an interesting enough background where the viewers can sympathize with her and start wanting to like root for her. If they can do that, Tina Mercado's character is going to probably be a really good one. So after Tina Mercado, I was very fucking disappointed to see who the next fucking antagonist was going to be. And it turned out to be this bitch right here, Costa. So fucking Costa comes in season seven with her fight club bullshit. Meanwhile, the bitch don't know how to fucking fight because we all saw how Rita fucked her up. Rita's a formidable opponent and she's going to probably win all the fights, you know? But still, Costa did not give her a fucking fight, okay? She's nothing. She's weak. So Costa was a fucking annoying ass bitch. She talked too much. She was, oh God, like I feel like she tried so hard to be tough. And maybe she was. Maybe she was. But for me, she wasn't. Okay, I didn't buy her tough act. Neither did Rita. Costa didn't get no respect. So this bitch was a brat and I didn't like her. And I wasn't mad that Sean Brody decided to just off with her head. So another one that I forgot that was a sideline character that I believe came in in season two was Sky. Yo, Sky. Oh man, she was one of my favorite sideline characters. Sky reminds me of this girl, I know, but when she was a teenager. But this girl, when she was a teenager, I swear to you, she was Sky in all aspects. So and whenever I saw Sky, I used to fucking crack up because A, you could hardly ever tell what the fuck she was saying. But Sky was on some shit at all times, like some funny shit, some high shit, you know? And it was fun to watch. I liked her. Sky was a character also that I feel like she could have had more of a backstory. And we could have found out more of her. She could have gotten clean on the show. And then once she's clean, we get to really see how she is, what she's been through. And then we just, you know, either see her fail or see her progress. Mon was one of Kaz's crew. She was around in the final season, I think. I don't know if it was season 8 or season 9 when she attacks Mari in the cafeteria. I think that was season 8. And then after that, we don't see her anymore. That was the end of Mon. She got sent to the slot and we never saw her again. Without Kaz, I feel like Mon, her character was just like, bye, you know, I'm okay if you go as well. I'm not including Drago as a sideline character because for me, she had more of a main role in that season. And we got some of her backstory, you know, she's Mari's henchwoman and she's in love with the bitch. I wanna talk about these sideline characters real quick. They weren't technically like villains. They were always part of Kaz's crew. And then after Kaz died, they became part of Ali's crew. And shout out to this chick right here because although I never heard her speak, I liked her very much, okay? Also, as I was looking for pictures of Costa, I found this picture of her. And look who's in the background. Look who's right behind her. It's Stella. And Costa, if I'm not mistaken, came in season six and was killed season seven. I thought that Stella had faded into the nothing a lot earlier in the series than season six. But I guess I was wrong. So my favorite of all the sideline characters is Sky. Sky and then comes Tina. I think both those characters had potential to move on in the show. You know, like for the writers to have given us more. Or if they're going to ever, like I said, do a Wentworth reboot in the future... They could have Sky and Tina come back in because we know them. We know these women and we haven't seen them in a long time. I feel like the best way for them to bring Wentworth back would be through Maxine or Doreen. You know what I'm saying? It could start with them on the outside. Maxine and Doreen meet up to chill and see each other after all these years. They start talking about Wentworth. Boom, they hear that another prison is being opened. After what happened in Wentworth, they shut it down. They opened a new prison somewhere else and they start talking about it. And then from there, we pan into the prison and now we're back into the Wentworth world, whatever the new prison name is gonna be. But to make it familiar to the viewers, we see Sky and we fucking see Tina. We might see Juice's mute ass somewhere in the fucking corner and we need a screw. Will Jackson, of course Will Jackson has to be on the fucking show. Vera and Will are working in there. Please give us more Wentworth so I can talk about something new. If you enjoyed this video, do what you must in order to watch another one of my videos again in the future.